Hey guys, welcome back to Farm Mechanics Simulator 2015 with me, Brad M73. Um, they have actually released an update. I, I kind of heard through, well, let's just say I heard that uh, there would be an update, and the update came out to fix a few problems in the game, uh, kind of balance um, the money that you would make from orders, though I'm still not convinced that's the case, and also to reduce. Uh, the amount of required test drives. Um, I went ahead and restarted the game, uh, and I'm back on order number four. I think we got the first three done in the first episode. I'm going to basically start from here and just go on out. Uh, so we have to check elements of the steering system <laughs> and then perform a test drive. Great. Um, so the first thing I will do here is um, we're going to go into inspection mode. I'm still getting the little pop-ups for, uh, you know, like the tutorial pop-ups. So, uh, okay, that that's probably going to need to be replaced right there. Or not replaced, but repaired at least. Let's see if I can take that off. Oh, yeah, I can. Cool. Go back into inspection mode. Uh, oh, I have to go over to the other side of the car. Not car, tractor. <laughs> um, well, that's, I don't know if that's really the steering system. Okay, that's going to have to come off. Let's go ahead and uh, take this. Whoop, take this down. And yeah, I'm gonna take the wheel off. So yeah, a lot of people were kind of disappointed about the lack of money. Some jobs you actually lose some money. Um, most jobs you barely break even. Um, and, uh, they're, you know, just talking about how unrealistic, uh, the game is. Um, I've been kind of disappointed with just the lack of tractor types. Um, they all pretty much look like this one, except for the cabs are different. The interiors are all identical. Um, at least of the ones I've seen so far. Uh, okay, so, ah, I thought I switched, or I thought I fixed the, uh, oh well. Yes, yeah, so we got a hundred, let's see, 180 there, 199 there. Go back into assembly mode. And the one, the one thing I still have yet to find are the mysterious books that somehow increase the amount of money that you get. Um, I see the manuals over on the table, but there's no buy options or anything like that. So I don't know, maybe I have to get up to a certain level before I can buy those. That's the only thing I could really think of, because the game has kind of like these... I don't know, when you before you load into your game, but you're on your profile... You can actually see where it's there's like 25, 50%, 100% completion or something like that. So I don't know. Um, check the elements of the steering system. Uh, what else do you want me to check there, buddy? Uh... This wheel? Dull. It was the tire. Wow, that's so orange it's like making my brain hurt. <laughs> okay, so we take this over. Wait. Whoops. 
There's that buzzing sound. Hopefully you guys can hear that. I can hear it through my headset. Um, it's definitely some type of a graphics glitch. Somebody, uh, some people were saying that it was actually a leftover glitch from the car mechanic simulator. Uh, man, that is really bright green. It's like so insanely brightly colored that it's making my brain hurt. I mean, it doesn't take much, but hey. All right, so now we can perform the test drive. <laughs> How much you want to bet it was? It's at night. Um, I was playing through some of the the scenarios up to I don't know, probably like the tenth. Oh my god, it's in the daytime, and almost every single. Um, scenario was it or, or, or test drive track was at night matter of fact every single one was up until they released this patch and then finally they started being in the daylight and I was like oh okay cool but um, oh and then we have this awesome external view where there is no driver <laughs> so I guess I'm just you know back in the barn controlling it via remote control okay Um, so, yeah. And you can't even, like, I'm moving my mouse around, and, uh, yeah, nothing's really happening. I can look around when I'm in the cab, but not when I'm, not in the external view. But the external view kind of, or the internal view kind of makes me seasick. Just the way that, <laughs> that is, I guess. Um... Shoot, what was I just going to say? I was just thinking about something to say, and I can't remember what it was. But um, hopefully you guys are liking this series. It's a little bit, something a little bit different, a little bit more simple. Um, I'm going to be basically doing about three repair jobs per episode. I don't really have, like, a release schedule. It's just when I can fit them in. And um, so hopefully you enjoy the, the video. Um, I've been, you know, several people have asked me would I recommend this game because it's like $15. Um, for that price, not really. And I would say it's a squeeze for $10. If, if you can get it for less than $10, for like maybe like 5 or something like that, um, go for it. But yeah, otherwise, I eh, don't know. Do not know. I wouldn't pay full price for it like I did. <laughs> But my pain is your gain. Okay, so this tractor is a little bit different. Replace the steering column, 250 bucks. So it's actually asking us to replace it. Um, so I'm assuming this is going to be the steering column. So we got to take this off. Okay, that was the steering column. All right, so let's see. Yeah, see, here's all these books. Um, and I mean, let's turn the radio off because it's I, the music sucks in this game. I'm sorry, it just sucks. See, there's all, see, there's no books in here that, um, see, there's tractor, tractor combine. See, there's nothing in here. There's no books or anything in any of these. Let's see, new. You know, there, there's just nothing that I see that I can actually buy that, um, you know, increases my thing. All right, so let's find a steering column here because we're supposed to replace it. But I want to show you guys something. It's $250, okay? Well, if we exit out and we look, we're only getting $250 for the order. So why would you essentially break even? You know, why even bother having a job if you're not going to make any money? I mean, that is the whole point of working so that you can earn some money to, you know, pay your rent, pay your bills, pay for food, gas, electricity, whatever. Um, so we basically are going to have to repair it, which is going to cost us $202 to repair it. So... <clears throat> we make a little bit of money, but not much. Now, previously, 
in this mission. You actually had to go out and do a test drive after that, and I don't think we do on this one anymore. Nope, it's repaired. Done. So, yeah. So, yeah, you you know, it's, as before, every single mission required... What is, is that the same tractor? Um, here's a test drive. Check the condition of the gearbox and repair it. Replace all necessary elements. Okay. So, okay, the gearbox is going to be on the bottom. Uh, oh, crap. <laughs> I already forgot. You have to take the uh, gear shifter and stuff off. Or actually the steering column, because the gear shifter is on this back piece. Which, oddly, you can't really do anything with. Oh, I gotta take this off. I think it's kind of silly how some of the parts come apart, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? Of course, I wasn't really begging for this, but I was hoping that it would be a little less sucky. <laughs> the, um, the the funny thing about it is all of the all of the tractors look highly, highly Eastern European. So I'm wondering if this game was made in like I don't know, like Ukraine or Slo Slovakia or I don't know. It's not a terrible game, though. Not like Garbage Truck Simulator. <laughs> somebody asked me, sent me, somebody actually sent me a message the other day and were like, will you play Recycle Garbage Truck Simulator more? I was like, no. No way. Okay, so we've got to just go ahead and there's some parts here that we're going to have to replace. Okay, apparently there's nothing there. <laughs> So there's a few things. We have these, um, A, we have to replace the gearbox. The, uh, we got the pusher plate, <coughs> the clutch basket, and then one of the, the discs here. So we're gonna see what we can repair first. We can repair the gearbox. So we're gonna do that because it's definitely gonna be cheaper. But the other pieces we're actually gonna have to purchase. So. We're going to see tractor used. I don't really expect to see any transmission parts as used, but we'll look through anyway. And nope. Okay. So, okay, first thing we, whoops. First thing we need is a pusher plate. Clutch grind, uh, grinding clutch disc. <clears throat> oh, um, gearbox. Clutch grinding disc, yes. A pusher plate and the clutch basket. So we'll go ahead and climb back under here. Ah! Go into assembly mode. Put in the good pieces. And the good parts look exactly the same as the bad parts. So, yeah. Whatever. And I love how we buy a new clutch grind, uh, grinding clutch disc. And it's not even 100%. It's only 95%. How's that for... <laughs> completely retarded. Okay...
Okay. No, oh, go, go, go. In. Okay. Ah! Yeah, I, I need to slow down the mouse. <laughs> I did, I did, but then I had to restart the game, which I think resets everything. So, yeah. I'm just going to say that and go with it. Oh, wrong end. Screw those four screws in. Um, unfortunately, just like in um, Car Mechanic Simulator 2014, there's really no engine. You know, there's nothing to do inside the engine like there is with 2015. Um, I was really disappointed with that because, I mean, I don't know. I would think engine things would go wrong just as much as steering problems and transmission problems. Um, okay, so that's everything there. And let's close the door. Um, oh, there's the vibe. There's that sound. Bzzz. Oh, so that's what that buzzing sound is. Okay, guys, I figured out what the buzzing sound is. Apparently, it's not a bug. It's just flipping annoying. That's <laughs> what it is. Um, hopefully, I don't have to do a full test drive. Oh, it's nighttime now. Like, who would test drive a tractor at night? I mean, I know people farm at night all the time, because sometimes you just have to, you know, farm in the late evening after the sun goes down because of, you know, that's when the moisture content of the soil, uh, the, the grain is going to be correct. But, uh, I don't know why a mechanic would test drive the tractor at night unless they really had to get it to the, you know, their customer in the morning. <clears throat> yeah, these, these test drives are just boring. Um, you do the exact same thing. There's nothing new. I mean, even in Car Mechanic Simulator, they're like, okay, go test drive the car. And it's used as a diagnostic tool to kind of tell you what parts, what certain parts need to be replaced. Not everything, but, but many parts. But this, it doesn't do anything. It's just basically like, congratulations, you fixed it. Now go ride, you know, drive it for a little bit. So it's kind of pointless to me. Uh, maybe, you know, little kids will like it. Um, I don't know, just not, not really fun. I'm more interested in actually working on the tractor itself than I am. What the heck? Why, why is there like a big hole in the side of the house? You know, remember, the, remember, I think in the first episode I said, you know, this, is, this map feels like something out of like the first Call of Duty. That even further reinforces it. I've ne I never noticed that before. That is absolutely hilarious. That there's just like a big bombed out wall in the house. Wow. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, we are done. Um... We'll see you back for more Farm Mechanic Simulator 2015. Um, as always, please don't forget to hit that like and share button. Helps me out tremendously. Helps my channel grow. Um, just uh, passed uh, 12,500 subscribers the other day, so thank you so much for that. Um, comment. Let me know what you think of the game. Um, if you're just as annoyed by all the little quirks that this game has as I am. Um, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe for this and many more videos. Um, I am Bradham73. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye for now. Bye!